to this edition of the Celebration News. Jerry, you're on. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Jake Jacobs asks for your support as he rides for the roses on brain power in the amateur counter class at the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Allie Jo Jacobs is heading in the 84th Walking Horse Celebration where she asked for your support in the Youth Country Pleasure Division seated on first night out. Allie Jo will then be showing her riding skills in the Youth 11 and Under Equitation Division aboard A.T. Grant. Allie Jo and friends ask for your support during this year's celebration. Every year, thousands of people come together in Shelbyville, Tennessee to celebrate the greatest horse in the world by naming world champions and world grand champion Tennessee walking horses in multiple divisions. Join us this year for the 84th annual Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration, featuring 198 classes starting August 24th and continuing through September 3rd, when the world grand champion Tennessee Walking Horse will be crowned. Contact the celebration today at 931-684-5915 and reserve your seats. Then come out and enjoy five days and ten nights of the best of the best Tennessee walking horses competing for top honors. Watch for me and Pocahontas as she competes in both open and amateur championship classes with Tyler Bauckham in open and Allison Armstrong and Allison Bicknell in the amateur division. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to Winter Circle and tell them what a horse sent you. Please stand and cheer for the team of I Am Uno and Jake Jacobs in the Amateur Park Performance Division of the 2022 Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to tell you, I've got a special announcement to make this morning. I want everybody to know, happy birthday to Jeremy. <laughs> happy birthday. Now, reckon he's up. He's up, <laughs> he's up riding horses right now. Oh, he's already riding he's horses. Already, well, he, he's at the he, celebration grounds right now riding. The only thing I can say is, is he missed it. <laughs> All right, your buddy, uh, Rob Brainerd, 
and uh, Bonelli. Yeah. I said it right that time, didn't I? Donnelly. Donnelly? Uh-huh. I still got it wrong. <laughs> well, it, it doesn't make any yeah. difference. We both know he builds great yeah. barns. and great. He, he can do it all. Give him a call. 800-288-2224 or 931-492-4517. He'll build you a barn. He'll probably build you a house. That's right. He, he'll be right on it. <laughs> he'll, get, he'll sell you some property. He'll sell you some property, whatever you need. <laughs> Rob, can get, Rob just moves around. Yeah. And I know I've told people this several times about it, but I keep trying to stress the fact that we have so many different avenues for our horse. And this group we're fixing to show, Jason, uh, Jackson, and Justin Todd, the work that they do with horses will increase the price of our trail horses, our versatility horses. It's just, they can train the horses to do everything. They can train them, train them to shoot off of them, everything. And it, this is important, because I'm, I, want, I want to see more avenues for our horse to be sold. Oh yeah. And this, these guys right here, Believe me, they do a great job. They take their time, very patient, they walk them through it, talk them through it, this, you name it, and they, they get it done. This is the right time of year to go and buy one. You can buy, you can, since celebration going on, you can go over to one of these sales and buy yeah. you a good young horse or whatever and yeah. let them have it and work it during the winter and next Next spring, spring. you be ready to go to whatever you want to do. Yeah, you're ready for the competition. You're ready for competition. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of ways to train these horses for competition. You know, they're they're got a. I seen a video yesterday of mules that they're teaching to do the comp now mule. Yeah. They're smart, buddy. Oh yeah. You don't think they're not smart, but now they, they, our horses are smart. And one other thing that I'm trying to do is finalize Richard's jewelry. Uh, we have sold it for the last three years now, but we're getting down to where we, we don't have a lot left, but we do have some left, and we've got some real nice items, some nice earrings, nice uh, rings, and believe me, we're selling them to where you'll strut around and say, I got a custom piece of jewelry from Richard's Jewelry, because he... People talk about the quality of oh, stuff yeah. he put out, because he did. Now, he That's put out top quality. Everything he did was right there. We've even got one of the action devices out there. That's a nice, that's a nice jury. Real oh, nice. yeah. Beautiful. Just got that horse. I got a pendant that, that we found that we're going to sell, and it, I mean, it is really nice. It's not in there, but it, it's a super nice pendant. But these are just well. This it's what's left, and yeah. we're going to we're going to do our best to sell them. Uh, and there's at major markdowns, so people are going to get a they're going to get one well of a deal yeah, on yeah. whatever they buy. So especially them little baguette rings. Uh -huh. Now they're 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 real nice. They're, they're real nice. I, I have bought about as much jewelry as uh, as I can spend. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you. I, I don't even wear my big ring. I, I wear this one right here. I like this right here. It suits me fine. Well, last night, Jerry, they had some great shows. Old Paul Simmons' horse looked great. Oh, he looked real good. He, he looked good. I'm so happy for that family. And Jimmy is state class bound. That's right. We, it wouldn't be right if we had a state class if Jimmy McConnell wasn't there. If you didn't see Jimmy in that class, I, I don't think it would be a state class. I think it would be something else. Well, I'm going to tell you. He he qualified on Jen Shadow last yeah. night, so he he's he's there. He all he's got to do is pass the inspection. It seems like every time you turn around, they're trying to get him. But uh, J Jimmy's just Jimmy. He, yeah. He's a great trainer, and uh, he just smiles and keeps going because he, he knows he he knows he's in the right. And the reason I say this, I've, I've seen a lot of things that's been done, pulling the chains down, trying to say the chains too long. Uh, everything under the sun looking for a violation and we were told when the HPA came along that the government was here to help us yeah well I got news for y'all fellas that was a lie they're not here to help us they're I, here to do what the, the humane society tells them well, what it looks like 
I got only one thing I have to say. I think it's certain people that mm -hmm. does what they don't supposed to do because like this last group of inspectors that have been yeah. there for the last couple of days, they've been pretty level headed. And oh, I mean, and they, and they do it. And to me, I feel like they've been really fair. Yeah. But now they got some of them, I think, that just out to do stuff that they don't need to do or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now you got some of them, I can't, you know, I can't put down on every one of them because some of the ones that's been there here the last couple of days have been. I'm going to get shot for what I'm going to say. It might be Democrats. <laughs> we got video. <laughs> Don't, don't reason it. it. It just seems to be like that some of them, they assume before they get here, yeah. and then they try to make their assumption true. And they'll go overboard trying to do to prove what they their opinion is. The last two days, I know they've been pretty nice. Well, that young lady right there, ain't nothing wrong with what she does. She sets that saddle. Yes. Allie Jo Jacobs. Right here is, I am Pablo Escobar and Riley Gregory. She, she's won a little bit of everything. Yeah, she has. I tell you what, we talk about the other lady riding the coat. Now that coat right there matches that horse right there. Oh, yeah. Every time I see it. It does. I want to remind everybody our show will get longer today. Every day it gets a little bit longer because we keep dropping victory passes yes. down into another category. I'm Luther James and Jerome Dawson. They, they're really getting good at this. Jaron is. He's he's following his dad's footsteps. See, it's, it's important that the people know the value of these coats in these classes, and people get to see them talk. Some of them that may not look real good in, as a youngster like this, as they train and go on and on, they start to change. Oh, yeah. Right there, let's get rowdy. Carolyn Stanley for Stanley and Swinton. Six to 11, all day pleasure. But you know one thing though, Jerry? The night is the night when all the lights cut off. That's it. It's, it's the first cool. night of the World Grand Championship. That's so it. So all these horses we showing right here, they be fighting for a World Grand Championship title. I want to remind everybody out there too, the show starts at 6 p.m. tonight, not 7. Yes. So don't show up at 6 and think you're going to be 7 o'clock when it starts that you got time to eat and party. You don't. 6 o'clock the show starts. Better get there early. Designer Champagne and Elena Arnold for Kimberly and Perry Walden. Six to 11 winner. That's another thing we was talking, I was talking with a lady last night, Carolyn Rutner, about Kimberly Walden and her husband and what they do for the kids. Yes. There's first night out in Ali Joe Jacobs. You, you say Ali Joe and everybody knows who you're talking That's about. That's right. Because that little girl has made herself known. She's well known. Have you ever watched her when, when a blacksmith's doing anything or anybody's doing anything to a horse? Son, she's sitting there watching. She's watching. To a shoe the other night, she stood right there and watched them the whole time. Riley Gregory, your Equitation Medal Championship winner. And this was a counter class. Yes. There's no other feeling than walking that spotlight. <laughs> always, always. Right there, Wilder Way. Lead line pony. World Grand Champion. And didn't you tell me that they had they uh, sold, the pony. Sold, sold the pony? They let the 10 man statue go with it? I don't know if they're gonna take it with it or not. They probably I will. wouldn't have bought that pony if they didn't give me that ten man, man statue. <laughs> I might want to put that statue on that pony and lead him around. I tell you, it's it's hard to find them pretty ponies now. But now, when you find one, 
Everybody's wanting one. Oh, yeah. Hey. Especially being registered. That one that was registered. Tennessee walking horse. Well, that's, that's, well, there you go. Mud slide slim wasn't much bigger than him. You're right. There's Manning and Taylor Walters for Kelsey Andrews, owner amateur ladies gilding winner. And I'm still patting myself on the back because I called that. He just gets it done. Yeah, she gets it done. Right there is another, and I'm Lady Wolf, Casey Wright, Bill, and Debbie Woods. Prayers to Billy. I haven't talked to Debbie this week. I talked to her right the first of the celebration, but I know this is rough on her. The celebration this morning is pretty popular this morning for all the horses they're riding. All of them over there. El Hombre in black, Jake Jacobs. Owner amateur novice, Gentleman Stallions. He comes close to knocking himself out of that novice in that class. And then he come back and knocked himself out of it in another class. Yes. I am big enough, Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley, owner amateur youth six to fourteen. Right there is Annie's line with Cash and Chloe McSwain. I want to remind everybody again, all victory passes from the day you win, the day after you win, run the entire week of the celebration. You get more advertisement out of the victory pass than anything else. Oh, yes. Plus, we upload them to YouTube and let you share them with friends. You imagine 10 years from now going back and get one say, that's what I did 10 years ago. You're right. That's, it's amazing. Here's Caitlin Peeler and Nippa Jen, owner amateur U 1217 show pleasure reserve winner. Drayton Beach, Jake Jacobs, Jake and Allie Joe Jacobs. And that's when you knocked yourself out of it. Yeah. But he's happy. He said it was time to go. <laughs> it's time to step on up. Yeah, you don't want to be a novice for the rest of your life. No, oh, no, yeah. no. I talked to a gentleman and said that he got a ninth place ribbon. And I said, you know, this was the first time he came. Said some people come 40 years and don't get a nice place. Ripped. That's right. He said that's true. That is true. You, you, can go, right. you, you can go a long time and not get one. All right, where are we at now? Oh, we got day five. There she is. On amateur youth, 12 to 14, Marion Gildan winner, Dixie Label and Chloe McSwain. nice horse right there. That is yeah, one nice horse. Real nice horse. Super nice horse. Here he is. He celebrated his birthday this week too. Yeah. Day after he won this class. Mm -hmm. It's the medalist in Eli Cunningham from Wilson and Cunningham.
That's a real nice horse. Yeah, he yeah. is. He, he got a lot of walk to him. That little boy gets it out of him, too. There's Uptight Jose and Bruce McDonald. Good as you can get. Everybody likes that Uptight Jose. Yeah. Mr. True Blue and R.M. Kelly. It's a nice horse, real nice. Mm. Tell you what, he, he made a splash, that's for sure. And every year I've been watching this horse, I haven't seen him getting better and better. Oh, every yeah, year. he does. He gets every time you turn around, that's he's right. getting better. From there, we're going to uh, day, day six. six. This is a real nice horse right here. That horse is there, it's got a lot of walk and shape. Can't wait to see this horse back in that World Grand Championship. Down in Dixie, and Joe Lester, riding for the blue. Very nice horse. Joe does a real good job on these horses right here. Smoky Mountain Strong and Lexi Stennett for Connor and Stennett. This is another horse that every time you see it, I mean, you get the job done. Oh, yeah. Line Adam Beto and Rachel Teague. You know this horse right here, they keep him at home pretty much all, of, they keep him at home all the time. I mean, he just won one that's just a natural. I mean, yep. you keep him at home, turn him out. I didn't see pictures and videos of him. Just running out in the yep. field. They get out there and ride him every now and yeah. then. I got a feeling that they're going to end up with that young lady on that horse. Yeah, I'm going to say so. Because <laughs> he'll measure a pony. Yeah. There she is, Gigi's Majestic and Elsie Bradford for your, your reserve winner. and Armstrong, your elite owner, amateur lady stallion winner. I thought she made an outstanding made an show. show. I she really did. did. She made a real good show.
Allison's one of these that just has a great time when she's in the show yeah. thing. Right there, Georgia, Florida line and Robert Dortch. Owner amateur gentleman show pleasure winner. And I tell you, you know, we've been talking about these horses and stuff like that. But that this horse right here is is very true. They I believe I've seen him show three different times at celebration already. He has. I believe well, Robert, right. I know it's twice. Twice. I know Knox showed him. And, and uh, Robert showed him. I think yeah. those are the only two times he's shown. Two times, but I mean, what I'm seeing is he's showing. He, he can show. He can show. Right here, Ultra Gray Pistol and L.C. Lewis for Kilburn and Lewis. Owner amateur, three-year-old Marion Gildon, Section B winner. A lot of walk right there. Yeah. A lot of walk. Yep. I like it like that. I do. I do. Right. Well, well, we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> you doing? You, you getting it dead, dead on the money? <laughs> you're, you're out running CJ now. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good, Dave. I'm gonna do better than CJ can. Well, no, but he he has to shut one down and go to the other. Oh, okay. Now we now we can go to commercial. Yeah. Oh, are we got more? All right. We go to commercial then. Yeah. The Jake Jacobs family asks you to support the team of Jake Jacobs and Grayton Beach as they compete for top honors during the 84th celebration in the amateur four-year-old division. Again to win started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old grand championship, and then Jen would go on to win world championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With world and world grand championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen Dwin is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breathe your mare today, 931-680-0897. Stand and cheer for Team Allison Armstrong and Twisted with Honors as they strive for the championship honors and the roses to prove it in the amateur division. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. The Tennessee Walking Horse is a perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Six-time world champion in the amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information.
All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We got more video. We always got more video. Yeah, I like to watch some videos. But I bet you we go over to Celebration Ground today, we get a whole oh, lot of video. Yeah. There'll be people everywhere, everywhere over there. Everywhere over there, watching them horses. They're getting ready for that championship tonight. And Remember, everybody, starts at 6 o'clock tonight. Not 7, 6 o'clock. Yeah, get over early. Here's day seven victory passes. My honeybee and Taylor Walters for the Molly Wall. They just purchased that too. Yeah. Tell you what, that's it's one nice mare. My honeybee. I wonder if Taylor's going to share that with Walt and Molly. <laughs> Molly's sharing it with her. Yeah. How'd that come back? That's a mother and daughter team oh, yeah. right there, buddy. Both of them ride real well. <laughs> real well. Right there is quite an honor, and Beth Beasley, she was reserved on her amateur four-year-old Marin Gilded. They made a great show, too. So you, you had some good mares in there. Real good show. Beth sets a good horse. Now she does. Sets a good saddle. And right there is Honor of My Country and Stephanie White for Tony White, your owner, amateur, married and gilding canner winner. I tell you, that's what you call a good canner right there. Yes, right sir. A Real good canner. canner. That's a beautiful horse. Yes. Naming them off of the night. It was first three places in one class was all by honor. Every one of them. I'm telling you, honor's getting some real good coats. Yeah, they're breeding some good marriage to him. Yeah, you're getting some real good A lot of people, they'll argue with you, but the key to a good foe is exactly that. Yeah. Here's a great ride. I mean, a great ride, and that was Miss Dixie Carter. I thought she made an outstanding show. No doubt about it. Just from start to finish. That young lady got on the rail. She didn't get mixed up in that crowd. Yeah. To me, you that that's a sign of a real smart show person. That's right. A, a show. Sh that's it. And here's a shade of Jose and Eric Lackey, your reserve winner in section A. He made a fantastic yeah, show, buddy. Show. Eric's a good show. Yeah. Now he, he gets out there and gets it done. Well, to your point, you know, the judge can't see if you're in a crowd of horses. That's a fact. So But these, these seasoned veterans. Yeah. Right there's another great ride. Voyager and Paul Simmons. Paul and Tiffany Simmons. Yeah. I thought he made a fantastic made a good ride, show. A real good ride there. Is there always supporting him? Yep. She's getting what, excited. What's the way he sets a yep. horse? I mean, he set that horse mm -hmm. just, I mean, he, he's got a good seat on him, too. I think now we're going into day eight. We're going into the money day. Yeah. It was a good classes, start to finish. I mean, shoot, it's just uh, unreal. Better and better every day. I tell you, I just advise everybody to run these beaker passes and your reserves because ain't nothing like you coming back and seeing them, like you say, 10 years from there, <laughs> 10, you look back. 10, 15 years from now, this internet still be there. This was your gilding five and over canter class. Mr. Far Real and Jimmy McConnell took the blue for Paul Simmons, a Dixie General, and Bill Calloway was reserved. Charlie Paycheck, Tanner Burks for Steve McLaurin. Sweet Georgia Ritz, Chris Zahn. Made you look, Michael Wright. And Mr. Lineman, Drew Grays, finished out the ribbons. But it was the showman himself, Jimmy McConnell, that took the blue. 
you appreciate me saying that one. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but I mean, it's just, going back, every time you look at these videos, I don't care how long it, you won, won, it just, you just still get them chill bumps on you. I oh. mean, you remember. Hey, I, I go back and look at videos every now and then of, of my kids when they played ball. And uh, I'm gonna tell you, just it, it, the memories that it brings back. I mean, you can look at a picture and think about it, but that's that's not looking at the video. video. <laughs> that's not the same. I watched that video of Billy Gray when he retired Ritz. Yes. And I get a chill every time I watch it. <laughs> Mr. Farrell and Jimmy McConnell for Paul and Tiffany Simmons. Tell you what, he come in showing that horse and left showing that yeah. horse. But you know about them counter classes, either one of them counter classes qualify you to go back to state class. Well, that, that's good, because he, so he, he can got some any, good yeah, ones. He can show any one of them that he showed the counter class back in the state. Here's your auxiliary. Now, I'm going to tell you, this one had some great ones in it. Oh, yeah. Allison Bicknell took the blue on me and Pocahontas for Allison Armstrong. A gin to win. I'm fixing to breed to that one. Mm -hmm. A Maria Bobo for Sherry Roberts. That was real nice. Doby Gray. Sarah Coffee Burks. Title Defense. Samantha Green. And Image I Am. Stephanie Martin finished out the ribbons. But now, me and Pocahontas, world champion. Agenda win, multi-time world champion, yes. open and amateur. Doby Gray, world champion. That was the caliber in this class. Yes. That's another horse we advertised before the celebration, for the celebration, me and Pocahontas. So I'm gonna roll. Fantastic yes, job of showing that horse for Allison Armstrong. That's pretty good. Allison and an Allison, Allison they just uh -huh. spell them different. I'm this, glad they brought I'm this class you, back. I'm gonna let you talk all you want to about this Marin Pole class because I love them. I'm I'm glad they brought this class back. I I like this. You know. A lot of people this, like this class. Yes. Real good class right here. I mean, you can see the mares. I mean, the mares in real good shape. Got the babies right behind them. I mean, Jesse and Jaron Dotson. Did a real good job with them. Chris Hazelwood, his daughter. Ann Womack, her granddaughter. Hey, that's good. That's a good combination. Yeah. Bunch of good ones out there. I'm gonna tell you, with this class coming back, you will have a lot more. I guarantee you, 
they keep this class up this next year, you'll have a lot more of them coat, Marin coats in them I classes. I believe so, right too. There. I remember when you I used mean, to look in there, buddy, and that, that it, class was packed. I promise you it would be. The Marin won't be out in the pasture no more by the time now. They'll no. be in the stall, slicked up, and get ready to show. Mm -hmm. And it's good, you know, you can take the mares and you can show them, keep back, and you go back to showing them a little bit, the brew mares. Oh yeah. So you got a lot of pretty brew mares out there. And probably the majority of them is bred back. Probably, probably already. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, already bred back. You know, it's a pretty good crowd for a Wednesday night. Yeah. Be a lot more in there tonight. There was your winner. Mares and Gildens. Hey, tell me about it. And that winner, one that I really like, honor and salute and Caleb Balcom for Kerry DeArmond. Master of the T, Sam Martin for Beverly Sherman. Manning, Jimmy McConnell for Kelsey Andrews. Miss Heavenly Cash, Knox Blackman, Shannon and Shelby Sims. Wilma, Casey Wright, Sam Mc McDaniel. Bad Economy, Brian Barnhill. I'm Dulcie, Mickey McCormick. Reservation Online, Jesse Barnes. Five Star Jasmine, Gary Edwards, and Honorette Winky Groover. I was sitting with a young lady the other night, wasn't sitting with her, she was in the box next to me. And she said when she came back, she wanted to be able to ride like yeah. Kayla Malcolm. And Kayla does now, I mean, Kayla rides a horse. Just fantastic. Oh, yes, yeah, she does. She really does. You know, it was horses that didn't get a ribbon in this class that deserved one, but I mean, there's so many good ones in there. I, I know. Mean, it's, it's full. It's hard to do. so many in there, there yeah. she is. Seeing so many in there that it's hard, hard to keep to up with all of them. Kayla doesn't get in a hurry. She doesn't push her horse. She doesn't override him. She just sits back and let the horse do, do his thing. My brother Buck was in there. He made a good show. Great horse. They had a bunch of good horses in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was full. I love it when you look down there in that end of the track when they start lining them up that you've got them all across there. That's right. There she is, honor and salute, Kayla Malcolm for Carrie DeArmond. Carrie made a good show on that yeah. horse. Much better than that right there. Oh yeah, no, you can't. That horse has a good horse. Real good horse. I know Carrie's proud. Yeah. Right here, show pleasure five and under. Now this 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 one right here was loaded too. Oh yeah, they had a bunch of good horses in there. The honor code, and John Allen Callaway took the blue for the Allen Ridley family reserve. Honor to Mr. Guess and Jeremy Jensen for Evergreen Walk Horse Farm. Hard Eight, Lake Weaver. Gomez, Chris Zahn. Back in, back in black, Knox Blackburn. Gunrunner, R.M. Kelly. 
Just can't tell me nothing. Justin Harris, he's Jackie Robinson, Dickie Shrivener, Fly Eagle Fly, Blaze Picard, and the way I am, Jordan Cardell. The honor code, outstanding horse. Yeah. This honor to Mr. Guess, Virginia Stewart's horse, named after her grandfather. And I believe you know who that is. Yeah. Uh, he makes me very proud. Yeah. I tell you, he yeah. made a good show. It ain't nothing like watching you, watching you one of your kids show. <laughs> I know. And you know, and, and doing good and being a reserve world champion. Some of my favorite times were spent in the stands watching my boys play ball. Yeah. I mean, it's it was a very thrilling thing, especially for him and his first time ever been in a celebration, like, celebration that. like that. Been a reserve. That's good. Yeah. Hey. That's a big class. I mean, there ain't a class. bunch of, there ain't no slouches no. in there. Jeremy did great, I think. I know Virginia has to be happy. Oh, yeah, she's she thrilled. I mean, hats off to her for giving us a chance to pull with a wonderful horse oh, like yeah. that. You can't beat her. Yeah. She just, she's just a wonderful person. She is a super person. That's a pretty thing right there. That is a good horse right there. I love them flashy horses. Yeah. Like that. But my wife says I'm pickle when it comes to horses. <laughs> right there was your winner. Five and under winner. <laughs> Honor to Mr. Guess. Jeremy Jinson was reserved. I tell you, he works so hard at it. I mean, I, I stay on top of him a lot, but I mean, he works hard <laughs> at it. You got to. Yeah. But I just want him to be the best. I want him to do good. That's all you can do, buddy. That's all you can yeah. do is want him to do the, do best. the best. That's right. I want him to be respectful and do what he's supposed to do. That's it. Yeah. And he will. I think we're going to go to a commercial break, I believe. We'll be right back with these messages. <laughs> The Jake Jacobs family asks for your support for R.M. Kellett as he glides Mr. True Blue toward the championship honors in the four-year-old counter division at the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. As a five-star rated bank with locations in Bedford and Moore counties, First Community Bank has been the bank of choice for over 30 years for both families and businesses. Customers openly place their faith in the leadership of the bank that provides multiple services, each designed to provide solutions for the needs of every customer. Services like online banking, bill pay, and mobile banking are just a couple of examples. When I asked what customers like best about First Community Bank, they answered the hometown hospitality and the support they show for community. Community-minded and customer-minded, the solution to all your needs is a short ride or simple phone call away. Take that first step toward a community-minded bank. Call 931-684-5800 or stop by one of their locations today. First Community Bank, a community leader. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. He's back and ready to wear the roses, so Allison Armstrong asks you to stand and cheer as Tyler Balkum guides old Troubadour towards another World Grand Championship. Allie Jo Jacobs asks for your support when she enters the 84th celebration with her performance horses in the 11 and under division seeking top honors with Cole Hahn. Aljo Jacobs will then be aboard her World Grand Champion. I'm Coach Cal in a second 11 and under class. Ali jo will be entering the 11 and under pony division aboard Da Haas. And once again, ask for your support. 
You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, Ryder Cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. Watch El Hombre in Black as he carries Jake Jacobs in his quest to wear the roses in the four-year-old amateur stallion class during the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. More of What a Horse coming up. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to go to the final classes. Can't wait to see them. <laughs> Can't wait to see them. Well, they're good. I'm going to tell you, they was, they was some good, tough classes last Oh, yeah, night. it was some good, tough classes. I'm going to tell you, Kenny Compton. Saying. Yeah. Versace's dollar mm -hmm. on target. And Jimmy qualifying. Uh, yeah. You better watch him. He's state class bound. Our amateur classic horse. Oh, Kenny, now he get, he's, he's serious about them horses. Now. I know he is. <laughs> Versace's dollar and Kenny Compton took the blue for Rick Compton. Leavenworth and Buck Buchanan for William and Donna Buchanan. Cash in on the faith, April Jeffers. B.B. King, Mary Medina. In a danger zone, Savannah Martin. Out of line, Joseph Abernathy. It's a jazz thing, Melissa Mitchell. He's shady and black, Sarah Coffey Burks. Macho Pavo, Kim Leonard. And Miss Coco Chanel, Haley Prophet finished out the ribbons. These classic horses, I tell you, I'm loving them. Oh, yeah. You gotta be 15 to get in that class. And I'm talking about the horse, not the people. that fence over there and I mean he's out there riding them and I mean he you know he got hurt one time on a horse real bad on his knee ran into the edge of the gate yeah. I used to love to watch him in NYPD oh, but yeah that, that was one great horse Lost him before his time. Yep. There he is for Sacy's dollar and Kenny Compton for Rick Compton. I haven't seen Rick this year. I've seen Kenny, but I have not seen Rick. I saw Della. Rick must be hiding. <laughs> I've seen him in a picture. There he is. Getting it done. Yep. Getting it done. Right here is your open canter. And there he is, the showman, Jimmy McConnell. Jen Shadow and Jimmy McConnell took the blue. He's pushing the dollar. Michael Wright was reserve. Jason Bourne, Gary Wayne Smith, and Boss on Gin, Brandon Givens finished out the ribbon. Gin Shutta from Mike Floyd took the blue with Jimmy McConnell in the saddle. Jimmy just takes his time. Oh yeah. 
he gets in there and he takes his time, just rides his horse. And then when it's time to come and get you, he comes after you. Oh, yeah, he will. This showground's covered right now. Oh, yeah. There's people all over the place looking and watching them horses, you know. Because you got the night horses and the morning night horses there. Yeah, they got to have them all on yeah. the showgrounds. In the night, there'll be a bunch more coming in. In the night, be Saturday night horses coming yep. in. Mm -hmm. There he is, Jen Shatta and Jimmy McConnell from Mike Floyd. Columbia, Tennessee. That's a good guy. Oh, yeah. Mike, he's just super. Jimmy's got a bunch of good customers. Oh, yeah, Jimmy, he got, does. Jimmy got a bunch of good customers, good horses. I mean, just all around and just. That's it. Good horse. I want to remind everybody again that the show starts at 6 p.m. tonight. That means you better get there early than you've been getting there. That's for the fact. Because you'll ruin the show if you can't see Ronnie Spears carry the flag. That's it. you got to see him. Yes, right. Look at here. That's right there is a place to go. Now, they're is. open, so you can run, get in there and eat early and still get in. Look, Bob Roach and Charlie said Oh, yeah. Now. They believe in the BFW booth. Get oh, some good food. That's some of the best food around right there. Hey, pinto beans and cornbread. Yeah. Can't beat it. But that that's a good cause right oh, yeah. there. That mm -hmm. is BFW booth. I'm telling you, veterans love it. We also, I believe tonight is veterans night. I believe yeah. veterans mm -hmm. I get believe in so. free. They get a ticket. I've got a ticket, so, but I could get one. I'll get a free one and give it to somebody else. That'll work. You need one. No, uh, I, I got it. No, I ain't a veteran. I wish I would. <laughs> well, I'm a veteran. I, I can yeah. get in. Mm -hmm. they, they'll uh, come in and play the different tunes and all that. Yeah. That's good. I, I like to see that because our military, we thank you all for your service. Oh, yes. And I guess we will see everybody again in the morning, 7 o'clock. That works. Good luck to everyone out there. Good luck to you tonight. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse. I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.
Virginia, Harley Quinn, Ben Collins, 1498, is second. 